to show you all how easy it is to make delicious pull apart monkey bread. This recipe is absolutely amazing. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients. If you make it Gina Young style, you're gonna love me for this recipe. Here's the ingredients you're gonna need. Of course, you will need some biscuits. And I have two cans of biscuits. These are the smaller cans. Let me look. These are a 7.5 ounce can. These are not the real big ones, you'll need two. You're gonna need three fourths of a cup of brown sugar. Feel free to use the dark or the light brown sugar. We're gonna use a nice amount of cinnamon. We're gonna use a half a cup of uh, melted butter and some white sugar and really interesting, um, we're gonna use a cake pan. You can use a bunt cake pan or a flute cake pan, whatever floats your boat. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this amazing monkey bread Jenny Young style. Is there anybody out there that totally freaks out? Like you have a, a total fallout when it's time to open these things. My husband is definitely one of them. I kind of freak out just a little bit. When you open it, why is it pow? You, you know, I, I just want it one day to where they develop this, <laughs> right? To where you open it and just go, tss. you know, that, that's all it needs to do. It doesn't need to go pow once you get it there, you know? So let's get it open if we can. I hope y'all are having an amazing day today. Look it, took it. It won't even come open. Oh, there it goes. My goodness, that thing scares me half to death. I'd love to know in the comment section below, does it scare you as well? It's common. It's common. It's kind of funny, but yet it's common. Okay, let's get this other one open just like so. And when I come back, this recipe comes together so quickly. You're going to love it. Your whole family is going to love this recipe. Make it for the weekend. Make it for birthday, make it for anniversary dessert. Make it because it's simple, delicious, and it's cost effective. When I come back, we're gonna throw this baby together, get it into the oven, 350 degrees, and cook it for about 35 minutes. First thing we're gonna do is get our biscuit dough cut. There's gonna be some people out there that ask me, like Gina, can I make my own biscuit dough? By all means you can, but if you want a really quick way, do it this way. It's delicious. Just trust me when I tell you this. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna slice it just like so, okay? And then we're gonna come and do a thing like this. Now you have the option to roll it into a ball if you want it to, or you can just leave it like that, like I'm going to. So we're gonna slice them. If I haven't said, I hope y'all are having an amazing day. I hope y'all are having a great day today. You all ask, and I'm showing up, showing you all how to make this. You ask me, you ask me when I went live, Gina, what is monkey bread and how do you make it? Gina's here to save today. This recipe, super delicious, super easy, and a lot of fun to make. So now we're going to get all of our dough nice and cut just like this, my family loves when I make this. And if you want to, you can put a beautiful, like a cream cheese icing. Um, like if you make cream cheese icing, use Gina Young's recipe, of course, but put a little bit of milk into uh, your cream cheese icing to thin it out so it's pourable and it'll kind of drizzle over the monkey bread. But you don't have to put icing on it, okay? And you see in today's video, I'm not gonna put icing. It's gonna have like a beautiful caramel glaze that just falls all through the monkey bread. Oh my goodness. And this is like a shareable dessert. This is a, dirt, a dessert that you want to share with your family and friends. So if it's movie night, if it's game night, you know, whatever you guys are doing, make sure you have a couple of people so everybody can just make sure, make sure their hands are clean first, right? And then everybody can just pick at it, have a good conversation over Gina Young's delicious monkey bread, just like so. So now that we have everything almost cut, okay, we need to get a half a cup of the butter melted. I'm going to suggest that you use the salted butter, but if you want to use an unsalted it's fine, it'll work out just fine. I'm gonna melt the butter. I'm just gonna nuke it in the microwave for about 30 seconds or so, and I'll be right back. 
You can use between a half a cup and a cup of white granulated sugar, feel free to also use a Splenda sugar if you want to, okay? Splenda sugar, I hear it's delicious. So if that's what you wanna use, by all means you can. Okay, so like I said, between a half a cup and a cup, you decide. And I wanna put a lot, a whole lot of cinnamon on there, just like so, and we're gonna really mix the two together. And then these, they go right into the bag and we shake. Shake it, shake it, shake, shake, shake. We're gonna do that, okay, when I come back. So my cameraman couldn't really see into the bag. All right, so we're, we, you know, we put our sugar and cinnamon right into this bowl. And, you know, once it gets nice and coated, just set it aside, okay? And then I wanna talk about preparing your pan. Okay, you have to oil or grease or butter your pan. Do what you can so that your monkey bread doesn't stick to the pan, okay? Because that's the worst thing you want. You go to make monkey bread, you turn it over, and it sticks to the pan, right? Number one, I would suggest that you, I'm hoping that you have a non-stick pan, and then put some oil in there just for addition so it doesn't stick, okay? We're almost done with this. You don't want them to be stuck together, so do what you can, so make sure that they're not stuck together, okay? They'll have plenty of time when they bake up. They're gonna naturally stick together. And the whole idea is of monkey bread, I wish they would just call it pull apart bread, right? Because that's, I don't know where the name monkey bread came from. If you know, let me know in the comment section. I think it's really interesting. So now, when you make this recipe or any monkey bread, AKA pull apart bread, you can make it savory. You can make a pizza pull apart bread, turn around and use some mozzarella, some oregano, the cheese, the butter, the garlic. Can you imagine? I know you can imagine. So this can definitely be made in a savory way and delicious. And then you would turn around when you pull those pieces off, um, you would, of course, dip it into a beautiful marinara sauce. Like, how delicious, right? So, however you want to make it, have fun. Whatever floats your fanny. Now that we have everything nice and coated, I want to show you my pan and how I have um, oiled my pan. Like I said, feel free to use butter if you want. And I just have a clean paper towel with oil. I'm going to make sure that I really get the sides so that it slides out with ease and we don't have any issues okay beautiful preheat your oven at 350 degrees just like so let extra sugar fall between your fingers you don't want to pick up like a huge bunch of sugar and put it in your pan right you don't want to do that so between my fingers i'm letting excess sugar fall between okay and so then we're going to put our wreath of our coated dough that has been cut, and we're gonna go all the way around, making sure that everything's nice and even. You wouldn't wanna have a little bit on this end and then a whole lot piled up on this end. Do what you can to make it nice and even. In the meantime, between time, my oven is preheated to 350 degrees, and we plan on cooking this for about 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, so when once we get all of these in here, you, you guys can follow me and watch me. Um, then we're gonna come back and we need to measure out three fourths of a cup of the brown sugar. And it's really up to you guys to decide if you wanna use dark brown sugar or light. I'm using the light brown sugar today. The dark brown sugar has molasses in it and it's gonna give you a really deep flavor, right? Like a real caramel flavor if that's what you're looking for. Time to put three fourths of a cup of our brown sugar right in with the melted butter. We're gonna mix the two together just like so. All right, here we go. If your butter solidifies before you can put the brown sugar in, just nuke it again, okay? Until it, you know, liquefies. And then we're gonna pour it right on top of here, nice and evenly. Ah, how super. How easy, Gina, this is easy. You bet it is, watch this. Watch what happens next. So now, we take the two. Oh, yes, are you kidding me? I'm not kidding, you guys. You asked for it, and here we are. We're making it. I'm gonna take 
my soft spatula and get all that lovely goodness as much as possible into the oven 35 minutes and when I come back what's so much fun is when you turn this pan over and your monkey bread is released from the pan it's so exciting so make sure you can use just a regular dinner plate like a I don't know like a 12 inch dinner plate and turn it over onto that or you can also turn it over onto a nice cookie sheet to serve it okay so into the oven we go when i come back you see the finished product and guess what i'm going to say an amazing prayer you're going to get the first bite cookie bread is out of the oven look it took it oh gina are you kidding me look at this this is super duper exciting ah listen if y'all enjoyed this here video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe tell your family and friends tell everyone you know what Jeannie Young is doing in this kitchen on a daily basis Heavenly Father I thank you for this dessert in Jesus Christ's name we pray amen amen once again to my beautiful prayer now let's talk about something really quickly now typically you would wait of course until it cooled down but since it's super duper hot i'm going to use a handy dandy fork so i don't burn my fingers y'all okay so watch how it comes apart oh oh look how succulent is the camera showing any justice on this here oh my goodness, Gina. I can just imagine your kids coming over. They're having sleepovers. You make this for the kids. Everybody goes nuts. Uncle Bobo comes over. He wants, you know, he wants something to eat because every time he comes over, he's hungry. Make this for him. You'll satisfy him. Uh, you and your husband, you and your loved one, significant one, wants a great dessert. This is it. Take a bite. I'm going in. Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. 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 Make you some. Mmm. 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 Enjoy the recipe. Good night. Oh, this is so good. Make you some.